four wood, one steam thing that we need. You can only find these out in the wild. And 101 food. That's pretty solid. Um, so before we go home, let's send our dude here because it's quite close. And then we'll send him back with a big old shipment of stuff on his back. That'll be nice. So we've still got a bit more uh, homeless, so let's put a few more tents down. Um, and we might need a few, a few more roads in between as well. Uh, let's do it to there for now. to be running. What's up with you? Urgent need for treatment. Oh, God. Captain, our people have gathered to protest. The number of untreated sick keeps rising, but you seem to ignore the problem. I did ignore the problem. They demand that you take action. Okay. I'll open a medical post right away. Or, I promise the sick will be treated. Or... Go fuck yourselves. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> Wait, are you in a volcano? Is that where the heat comes from? Did Hanno do a stupid? That's dangerous. It's possible. I don't really know. They've not really. They've not really explained. Uh, Depress people because of cold and no food. Get them pissed. Watch. Watch a fight. Then home to home to dear Mrs. Where's this 1960s Yorkshire? <laughs> Listen, alcohol has been used to tame the masses for thousands of years. The Egyptians did it, the Romans did it, everybody's done it. This is what we're doing, we're getting pissed up. Mother's milk and all that. Um, could have gone with Glasgow or many of the large places in Britain, to be honest, yeah. Three, three, definitely three. <laughs> Sir Alex, no! I'm going to treat all the sick, because I'm a nice guy. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to treat everyone with my five wood. Shit. I'm going to treat everyone as soon as we get some wood. I'm going to spend the wood right now, and we're not going to treat anyone. Perfect. Okay. Now, we'll try and get everybody treated. Take care of the ill. Remaining 16. Okay. Our coal's going down rapidly because we've got all these steam things. We're also still overdriving as well, so we need this temperature to go up. Which it looks like it's going to happen. Imminently. So, uh, matey boys found a bridge. Bridge to the Winterhome. A brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, Built by the people of Winterhome in AD 1887. The bridge is kept completely snow-free by a working automaton. Functional automaton. Uh, we stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marvelling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It will be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. We're definitely sending it to the city. I want one of these things. Automaton sent to the city. We reprogrammed the automaton sent it on its way as it appeared in the dis as it disappeared in the distance, walking steadily towards our city. The first wisps of snow started to settle on the bridge. Huh. Right, it's time you go home because you've got a shit ton of resources. So off you pop. That is cool. Um, so, what's going on here? Finding the bridge to winter home proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There were logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. We'll find out in winter home. Uh, evict the sick, save the colony. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, shit. Diseases die if you cook them. The man has a point. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh, keep it. We kept it. We kept that shit, I know, definitely. Uh, so your colony is smart enough to reprogram bots, but somehow our planet got to the point where we rely on geothermal heat, a.k.a. a big shaft. Um, I think, basically, this is one of those natural disaster-style things that apparently just started happening overnight, and we didn't know how to deal with it. I get... I, I take that from it, anyway. Like, all of a sudden, there was a shitload of snow, and we weren't prepared, and, oh shit, we're, we're all fucked. I think that's what it's basically meant to have happened. Um, I 
want to get another care house as soon as we can. A medical post, sorry. People will get to work in a minute, so we'll be alright for coal and stuff. And um, we should have had the thumper thing um, research now as well. Uh, or is it, is it not done yet? Oh, it's, it's in the middle of being researched now, okay. Let's pass a new law. Moonshine! We can give people a bit of liquor every now and then to soothe their aching bodies and souls. Every meal slightly lowers discontent. Eating soup causes less discontent! Ah! 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 House of pleasure. Oh. Our hardworking people deserve all the relief we can provide, and some of them yearn for the pleasure of the flesh. Prostitutes can be employed in order in each pub to further lower discontent. I mean, an inch of snow in Texas, they shut down the state, so it's plausible. <laughs> ah, shit. Do you use gathering posts? I do at the beginning XP, yeah. When you've got like two or three resources next to each other, the gathering posts really help. But later on, they're not, they're not, they're not useful until you get coal thumpers, which I'll show you in a minute. Prostitutes. <laughs> yes, finally. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Hope will fall slightly. I think we'll end up getting both of these. So we'll <laughs> definitely get prostitutes. Um, to the pub! Uh, house of pleasure. Prost prost where's my prostitutes? I'll put some more workers in the pub. But we definitely need to get on the hookers. Uh, right, coal thumper's now been researched. That is good. So... The coal thumper, what it basically does is allows us to... I can't build the fucking thing yet. I need 15 wood. Um, the coal thumper allows us to make coal deposits come out the ground. Um, and then we can collect it up. And it gives us like a, a supply of coal, basically. Um, it's like the next step for us. So I'm going to put a coal thumper there. But we're also going to want some collection points. Uh, I'm going to want some both of these. We're sort of out of steel, aren't we? Probably need to get a bit of steel on the go. Let's put a few kids to work. And some engineers, why not? Um, and then this will need some engineers. And a few workers. So yeah, what this basically does, as you saw there, it gives us a deposit of coal on the floor, but then we need to collect that coal. So we need gathering posts. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put two gathering posts here. They should hopefully keep that covered. We should get more workers back when these piles get depleted, which I think literally just happened now, uh, which is good. And Matey Boy's just made it home. He's got loads of food, wood. We've got a steam core and a load of food rations as well. So pretty sweet actually. Uh, that is good. So we've now got 450 odd wood, which is amazing. Let's send him straight out. We're giving him no rest, and we're going to send him right down to this weather station. That's where we're going. It's a long way away, but we'll leave him to it. Uh, this thing is just closed at the minute. That's fine. Uh, could do with getting some more of this steel collected. But I don't know whether I want to use children or workers. That'll give us four. We'll use all, we'll use all kids, fuck it. That's fine. Um, we need to put another thing down for the sick. So let's do that. And we'll just slap this on this inner line here. There's two more medical places. What else do we want to start looking at? Let's get the next tier of research going. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't actually need to be on at the minute. And that's that done. Beautiful. So now what these two buildings will basically do is collect the coal from there. The next building that we need is resource depot. We need a few of them, ideally. We won't be able to get them until we've got some steel. So 
So we'll just let him collect some of this stuff. Oh sure, it won't kick out the sink, but it's okay with child labour. Exactly. Uh, so I don't mean it at all. <laughs> we need now is blackjack and this is a party. Next drugs! Um, Casual retirees at the relaxation centres. Where do we actually have any hookers in here? Maybe. We may be experiencing poor water pressure or no water. That leaks obviously still going on. Water supply issue. You might want to go and fill the kettle. Apparently not. Yeah, but it's a tank for a block of flats. Um, patrons. Where are my hookers at? Did I, I definitely took hookers, didn't I? Where, where are my bitches at? House of pleasure. Prostitutes can be employed in each pub to further lower discontent. Where are my ladies at? Ladies? House of Pleasure customers zero. Hmm. Hmm. Nice, Hanno. Nice. Did you get those fire barrels? Fire barrels, Summit? Where are the fire barrels? How'd you like? How'd you like this game uh, so far? I really like it, Belzanio. We're gonna obviously play it a bit more, but I do really like it. Mm. You need to have, you need to save some children to clean the sewers and chimneys. Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll have to wait till the morning now to, to get back to work. We need some more steel, basically. We should be able to get some of that from here. Let's put an engineer on there as well. Um, so. I want to get some res uh, resource depots. And what these allow us to do is increase the amount of stuff that we can store, basically. Um, so I probably want to just slap these somewhere out the way. Uh, maybe over here, actually. It doesn't really matter. I'll put one down, first of all. And then we can choose what resource we want to increase. So at the minute, I want to increase coal so that we can get more of a stockpile over the night. And it'll allow us to use this a bit more effectively as well. Drawing boards research, that's cool. Uh, let's get some more scouts. That'll be good. Uh, not sure what your problem is. Stor storage near capacity. Okay, so we do need to get another one of these down as well. Uh, for we'll put one down for wood. As well. I've been a bit neglectful of the roads because we had a, a wood issue for quite some time. But we'll just do this as a whole line of uh, depots. Um, that's good. Uh, take care of the ill. We've got 14 people we still need to take care of, so let's get these manned. Um, oh shit, didn't mean to do that. So this one's manned. We need some engineers back, so I'll probably take a few engineers from from here. And get these going. Hopefully we can get everybody treated. And now then. This one will set to wood. So that our lumber mill doesn't stop running. And you'll see, if, if we turn this off, um, if I turn this to steel, uh, there you go. So you see these little bars at the top here? So our wood one is nearly capacity. So now it gives us a much bigger buffer, which is cool. Uh, we've got 23 people sick at the minute. I'm sure they'll be fine. <gasps> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
same fucking son. <laughs> oh, XP, you are disgusting. You are despicable. I saw some research for barrels. You could have in certain houses to help with heat. Oh, really? Hold on. Um, our automaton has arrived. Our first automaton is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatons can replace entire manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel at the generator. We can research upgrades to raise their efficiency and capability. That is pretty sweet, it has to be said. Uh, for now, let's put our automaton in here so that we're getting a constant supply of coal. And then we'll boost these, these up with children and workers and whatever. That will be good. I don't think we're going to get this done in time, but we're trying. And um, we need to get some spare workers as well, so that we can get another um, another scout out. Ideally, look at these things. How fucking cool are they? It's got like a mini generator on its back, a mini one of these. Look at them go. Maybe the wood issue is why the prostitutes have no customers. <laughs> okay. I, th I honestly thought then that said the great lap dancer. The great lap lander. Okay. Okay, I don't know why he's going such a long way around. But once he gets here, he'll sort of set up and he's good to go. So, let's have a look what else we can do. We can get that soup lore. I think that'll help us for now. The moonshine one. Um, we may also start needing to do something about our sick and dying. Mm, I didn't mean to do that. Shh, organ transplants. We could use the body parts of our deceased to save lives and accelerate healing. Sick recover faster, let's definitely do that. So we've got quite a lot of sick at the moment. We need these 25 people that are currently not, not able to work. We've got eight amputees as well, which is really bad. That's eight people that are just eating our food and not contributing anything because they can't do anything. Um, which kind of blows. So what's going to happen in front of this building is these piles of coal. And I think it can have three piles of coal. But the problem is it needs constant work to collect the, the stuff which we don't have at the minute. Uh, so I think you should have made the snow pit and dumped the bodies maybe even later. We've, we've, we've got two snow pits. We've got that. We've got ten bodies in one and the other one's empty. We've got snow pits only half. I'm already on that, mate. Um, Did you struggle balancing hunters? Uh, I just slapped a few down to begin with. There is there is an overview thing where we can see our stats. So food at the minute, we currently aren't producing anything because it's the wrong time of day. But we're normally generating 100 rations a day and we're consuming 136 a day. So we do need to increase that. There's also a graph up here as well. So you can see our food sort of spikes quite a lot depending on when our hunters cabins are available. Um, We'll be okay. We'll be all right. I think we'll probably put another food-related thing in soon, but we'll need to uh, research it. Uh, we've now depleted all of our steel, which means we're probably going to have to set up a mine soon. I don't think we've got any resources left. So that sort of sucks dick. We'll have to get the steel mines upgraded too. Do less harm. Sir, a doctor wants to talk to you about improving radical treatment. I was a field surgeon in the Boer War and worked, bless you, uh, and worked with the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of amputations during radical treatment. Give him what he needs. Excellent. Get it done. Make it so. Okay, so that's more scouts researched. Um, let's now look at what we can do for food. Now we can make these hot houses. 
this is what I was talking about earlier. Hot houses take steam cores, but they do generate food. Uh, a few hardy crops can be grown here, supplying up to 30 raw food per day. That might be something that's good to get. So there's that, or we can get our steelworks up and running. I'm tempted to do the steelworks first. Yeah, we'll do the steelworks first. I can always put down some more hunters' cabin things, so that'll be fine. Uh, let's put let's put a couple more workers in there. We've got loads of loads of kids free to work. Uh, let's get some workers back and fill this with kids. Excellent. Fine. I think I think we're all right for a lot of these buildings now. I don't think we're really missing many labourers. So that's. Still got a lot of people sick. Uh, I think we're going to fail this. Don't seem to be able to get it done in time. Not much I can do about that. Let's look at putting in some more of these steam hubs because we've got parts of the base here that are really not very well done. So maybe we'll put one. Shit, just used all my steam uh, steel up like a fool. Okay. Now we are going to want another scout, uh, so that's 40 wood and five workers. I'm going to do that. So we've now got a secondary scout that we can start sending over this way. That'll be good. Uh, research steel, you're almost out of it. Send kids to work in pub. No! Dirty! Delmain, good evening mate. Everyone and their mother is playing Battletech. I don't even know what that is. It shows how behind I am. Battletech? Healthcare promise broken. I tried. Honestly, I tried. People are desperate. Sir, people are talking openly about overthrowing you. <gasps> Bereft of hope, they see no future for our city and they blame you for that. What should we do? That's not ideal. What the fuck do you want me to do about it? Hmm. That's not the best. Not sure what we can do about that just yet. Uh, let's put him to work in here. This will put some workers in. Where are you off to, buddy? Convince people to trust you again. Raise hope to 15%. Okay. That should be alright. Uh, right, cool. So we've reached the weather station. There's nobody in the weather station, but everything still seems to be operational. We could try to find out what the scientists from Winterhome were working on. The Grim Forecast. We found scientists' notes. They predict that the great cold is going to get much worse. What's more troubling is that the observations ended abruptly months ago. There's also not a can of spam, not even a crumb of bread left in the pantry. It's obvious they've moved out for good. We can see the city of Winterhome from the roof of the weather station. So we've got 91 coal and another core. That's fine. Let's send you to the coal mine first. Uh, how can I raise hope? Sir, the doctor who's trying to improve radical treatment is here. He's reporting a breakthrough. Hooray! 
It's certainly an unorthodox method, and my learned colleagues would be appalled that the experiment's hard to perform, but it works. I expect the number of amputations during radical treatment to be halved. Well done, sir. What's this? Abandoned station. The recent report from the weather station has got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the excavation from uh, evacuation from London was a good idea. A few are lamenting openly. I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. <sighs> Fuck, everything's going wrong at once. What the hell am I meant to do about this? What can I do to raise hope? Brace yourselves. Hope is coming. Ah, oh, shit. Man. Get to work, guys. Come on. We need, we need coal. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, look at the automaton in the building. Who is this guy? <clears throat> oh man, they are dupes who bite back. They are. The whores are making bank, dropping your hope. Send in the hookers with weed. <laughs> Legalise drugs. <laughs> Execute all who question you. Talk to, good evening. How's it going? Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. A man from Winterhome. We found an exhausted man at the edge of our city. He said that he came from Winterholm, a settlement located not far from here, and that he was the last survivor. Winterholm is dead. Everyone's dead. There's no hope for survival in this, in this accursed wasteland. You're all doomed. You must escape. Those were his last words. Oh, well, fucking thanks for the visit, you prick. Just turned everybody miserable. And now somebody's dead. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here, people living normal lives in homes heated by generators. But we're alone. Hope falls. Brilliant. As if my hope hadn't fallen enough. What the fuck? Look at this little cutscene, though. We should never have left Britain. How are we supposed to survive if they didn't? They're all dead. Oh, we should have stayed in London. Surely it couldn't have fallen like this. Oh, bastard. That's what they're saying. Oh, chuffing hell. It's fucked. It's fucking cold and everything. Can't even feel me toes. I'm fucking sick of eating soup. Bastards. <sighs> Sorry, Pryor, good evening, mate. <laughs> he came in at a bit of a rant there. Um, escape the nice, cosy warmth of Hooker Haven. Uh, nerd, how's it going? Temporary greetings from Houston. My goodness, mate, how are you? Winter home has fallen. Uh, they're all dead. How, did, how will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. Fucking London. Um, there's no hope for us here in this frozen desert. People start to gather as the new, as the news of the fate of Winterholm spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to, starting to set in. Fuck me. Choose our path. Order and discipline, or faith and spiritual strength. Order, strength, spiritual strength, order. Hmm. On the killing spree again, I see. I'm not trying to kill anyone, but they're very hard to keep happy. They've been very, very miserable bastards at the minute. I'm going to go for faith, because I think we need some prayer houses and stuff. I think that'll make things better. So we need a place to practice our faith in peace. Um, we get a new building, a house of prayer. A small place of worship for our people. Prayers, sermons, and small ceremonies are held here. People living near house of prayer will be more hopeful. So we get sermons, people can pray, which will raise their hope, and that's what we need at the minute. So I think we're going to do that. So we're going to create a new religion. It's called Beardisms. Uh, everybody loves it, and they're all going to get happy. That's, that's the deal. We can't build them. We've got no steel. Okay, steel is going to be ready soon. Generator is shutting down because we're out of coal. That shouldn't be a problem. Go. The unconvinced want to leave. Calm down, we're not going to die. The Londoners. Oh, for fuck's sake. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared that they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. 
fear may lead people to desperate acts, maintain peace, give people hope and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. Everybody's fired. You're all fired. Everyone's fired. You dicks. Good day. Ah, <laughs> yeah. uh, shit. Okay, so Steelworks has been researched. We need to set this up now. Uh, I don't know if we have any steel on this side. We've got some coal here. Oh, we do have some iron right here, actually. Fuck. Is that all the iron we've got in this whole thing? Okay. That's fine. So. Let's get some roads up here. We'll get this done. We'll send our automatron. 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 We'll send him to work up here, I think. Uh, okay, scouts have reached the gloomy cave. Let's search for survivors. <gasps> Polar bears! Beset by beasts. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one, feasting on them. Fight the bears. We had to help the survivors. When our scouts attacked the bears, people in the cave joined them and together they drove the beasts away. Unfortunately, the scouts died. <gasps> people they saved out towards the city, guided by a map. Bastard. Oh well, well at least he didn't have anything on him. That's, that's something at least. Um... Oh, that sucks. We need another. We need another um, scout now. Five of our people died. Why? Five died on expeditions. Oh well, that's fine. They're, they're the workers I just lost. That's fine. Can't do shit about that. Okay. We need to get this up, and then we can build some shrines. And once we can build shrines, we're laughing. So let's take our automatron off here. Let's put him on the steel place, and he can just work over here in the cold. I don't think it'll matter. I think he can just stay here regardless. And then we'll put some workers going. Oof, put some children here for now. That should be fine. Uh, you have to start heating. Wait, what? Captain, some of our people are concerned about the low temperatures in their homes. They quite sensibly point out it's easy to fall ill when it's cold. Okay. Um... You have to start heating 13 cold homes in 24 hours, then keep them heated. Uh, 13 cold homes. Piss on it. Very much coal at the minute, but it is at minus 40 right now. So it must be these tents here. I don't have many other tents. Sorry, I've not been paying much attention. Sorry, guys. Um, you're a beard of faith, but you've always played as a beard of order. Yes. <laughs> I feel like this game hits a little home for life dealing with the Londoners. What do you mean? And all the complaining. Uh, you don't have much luck with bears, life. Yeah, I do. I'm, I'm a formidable force when it comes to bears. Is this game just what else could possibly go wrong of the game? Uh, a little bit. At the moment, we've got a big problem with the hope, which kind of bites us in the ass a little bit. But uh, we'll be alright. We'll be okay, I think. Or we'll, or we'll die. Um, in before the automat automatron freezes solid. Yes. Uh, more coal than we can use. This coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine